This is not something I ever really envisioned asking you or really anyone in regards to fighting a pandemic, but what is going on with the White House and Nicki Minaj about COVID? Yeah, look, I, you know, Anderson, I didn't ever envision myself on your show talking about <laughs> Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's swollen nether regions, but, you know, here we are. Um, I, here's what's interesting. This is actually a good window into how the White House has tried to address these issues, maybe not this one specifically, over the course of the last several months. Nicki Minaj tweeted something that alleged some side effect to a vaccine that every medical professional that we've spoken to, that the White House says they've spoken to, simply does not back up. It was factually inaccurate. It was not true. The White House, in the wake of that tweet, reached out at a staff level to Nicki Minaj's staff and offered a conversation by phone with a doctor. Nicki Minaj then tweeted that she'd been invited to the White House and planned to come. That never happened. The conversation with the doctor, though, is interesting because what you haven't seen from the White House is an attempt to dunk on Nicki Minaj or attack Nicki Minaj. They've done the exact opposite. Instead, they wanted to make clear that there's a lot of confusion out there. There are a lot of concerns out there. You see it in the hesitancy. You see it in those who refuse to get vaccinated. And they wanted to address that fact. When somebody has 22.7 million Twitter followers and is tweeting these things out, the White House wants to see if they can address that with facts and then perhaps resolve or reconcile the very clear differences. One thing is clear. There is no meeting coming anytime soon, at least according to White House officials with Nicki Minaj, and also the alleged side effects, uh, there's no basis for them whatsoever, in case you're wondering. Well, I mean, it would be great if anybody who has that big of a following, you know, would be willing to listen to a doctor and, you know, look at facts and do research, uh, which she said, I think, or some people recently said they wanted to do more research. I'm all for research and data and facts, so let's hope uh, she takes them up on the offer. Phil Madden, I appreciate it. Thanks.